welcome to your May 5th edition of Think About It Thursday. Today our whole focus is on tomorrow's big event, which is Field Day, and we're so excited to have it back. It's been quite a few years, and no student has had it yet, so we're excited to be able to bring it back and promote this super fun day that is school-wide, and uh, Mr. Spinigotti is going to start us off with things to bring and things to leave at home. If you want to have fun, you have to be prepared every day. But being prepared for field day means that you're bringing these items. So to bring for field day, you want to make sure you have a towel, sunscreen. Community Club is going to have a lot of options for you guys to purchase some really great stuff. They're going to have Kona Ice Truck, they're going to have nachos, pizza. pizza. So bring some cash. I recommend you ask your parents nicely or offer to do chores for that cash. Sunglasses, always helpful, hat, and bottles of water. You want to make sure you guys are prepared. You're going to be outside a good chunk of the day. So it does run from the morning at 8.30 to 1 p.m., so it is a long day. You're out there for lunch. If you choose not to bring lunch, our school lunch is still provided for you, so we will have passes for you to go do that. But it is a long day, and it's supposed to be like 88 degrees, so it is going to be a hot one. All right, Spinigotti, what should they not bring? Before we talk about that. Okay. Because oh, it is going to be hot. Mind. We are going to be outside having a good time. Bring your positive attitudes. Bring your A game. Do not bring, you don't need a backpack. You're not going to need your schoolwork this day. You don't need to bring your Chromebook this day. And definitely do not bring your cell phones. Like, don't bring it at all. If you have a bag you're leaving in your homeroom or something like that, that's where your cell phone needs to be. It's not going to be out on the field with you. As you can see, outdoors activities don't combine well with electronics. If your cell phone is in your back pocket, we are asking you to put it in your classroom. The doors will be locked. If we have um, an issue with students with their cell phones out, we will be confiscating and asking your parents to come pick them up. On this day, you do not need to bring anything except the things that were mentioned that Mr. Spinigotti said, especially the positive attitude. A couple other things to note. One is that if you are out there, every homeroom teacher will have a square. You are with your homeroom teacher your entire day, so you're staying in that square. If you need to use the restroom, if you want to go purchase food, there are passes that you will need to bring. So when we're out and about and we see students just walking around, we are going to be asking for that pass. If you don't have a pass, you're in your square rooting on your team for the events because everyone wants to win field day. It's a big thing. So those are a couple of things we want to ask you. Stay in your square, have a pass if you're out on the getting food, restroom, whatever it is. This day is meant to be a fun school community event. It is not something where we want to keep students from. However, sometimes the sun affects us and we kind of go a little crazy. Um, we will be asking students who can't keep it together to leave field day. So we hope you know that everyone does a great job. We had a great successful day at Greek Fest, great successful day at tea, great success at Ren Fair, perfect behaviors. We'd like to see that continue at field day, but if it doesn't, just know that we will be asking you to leave field day and what that could look like would be another classroom or possibly going home because of the behaviors that you're showing. So please keep that positive attitude, have fun, and may the best homerooms win.